Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol TNDM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I've done this analysis before in the past, so that's where these green line and red line annotations are coming from. But after today's very nice move, uh, there's certainly some updates here that need to be made. So first thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning and get rid of these lines down here. Sure, they still pertain to the chart, they're just not relevant anymore. And from a presentation standpoint and not wanting to have uh, you know, lines all over the place and risk causing clutter and confusion, I just wanna try to keep this analysis as clean as possible. So that leads to our first update and this is based on a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So for those of you that watched the videos uh, in the past, hopefully you remember me talking about 85 cents as resistance, but now that the price has you know cleared up above it and is still very nicely up above it, 85 cents would be that newest area of support. Ideally speaking, I mean, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? If the price can stay up above 95 cents, that would be best case scenario, but you know, in the event the price falls below it, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. I'm just saying that if the price can keep on holding up above it like it's been, that would certainly be a, a huge sign of power on the bull's part. Now, what about areas of resistance? If this upwards move is gonna continue, where are some of these potential battlegrounds at? There's two main ones. The first is what I would call the, the fun level. And the fun level is just right up here at the previous high of $1.22. I'll be the first to admit, it is fun to talk about testing previous highs, breaking the previous highs, and those are levels of resistance. But in many cases, as is the case there, usually there's an initial bridge that first needs to be crossed before you can go and start talking about that fun level of resistance. And in this case, that level is right here at $1.10. So don't get me wrong, again, $1.22, definitely a level of resistance. But before you start talking about having fun, you know, and breaking the new highs and all that sort of good stuff, Bulls first got to get themselves back above $1.10, which you can see uh, during the afternoon, you know, proved to be pretty stubborn, uh, you know, for the Bulls to get back up above it. All in all, though, anyway, slice it very nice day to day. So it'll be interesting to see how the Bulls can build upon this momentum during the remainder of the week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.